What's up guys? Today we're going to talk about genetics a little bit. I said in some of the videos we get down to the nitty gritty about them. If you guys forgot, I'm Joe. I'm Chase. And this is Wrestling Reptiles. So this is a Montley Lavender, what I believe is Sunfire. This is a girl that I bought as a hatchling and have raised up. She's going on two, two and a half years old. She's going to be one of my breeders for the next season. From what Chase just told me recently, she's growing very fast. She's just building. She's at this point in time, they start getting real thick. She's a guinea pig eating eater. She, I mean, Chase, what would you tell? Oh, tell me what you think. How much do you think she weighs, honestly? Honestly, this is probably about a 15 pounder. At least for her size. And it's pretty impressive for her size, I mean, honestly. About as much as uh, Cheddar weighs. <laughs> and she's thick. She's getting there. Now, interesting enough is if you look at this, these houses on the side, a lot of this has to do with the sunfire with the motley and the lavender. You know, you're getting this house effect where it goes up and down, up and down. And then this motley is adding this beautiful stripe. I, I really like how the motley gene works. And I'm hopefully going to breed this to a super motley platinum. And if you look right here, it seems like the sunfire has influenced the genetics. If you see that orange freckling on, on top of the head. Is really a, hopefully something I want to work with because my Super Motley Lavender Platinum, which is also fire, which fire is Bob Clark's platinum, is uh, going to be the male I'm going to breed to her. And hopefully he has a bunch of orange speckling as well. And hopefully it has something to do with the Sunfire in this case. And my male, I think it's the platinum. So I'm hoping to improve this speckling. And really, just the color. I mean, I, I really like this snake. She's one of my favorites, that perfect white belly. You know, you got that iridescence, and that's really where you're going to see your iridescence on your albinos, is more or less the belly. You know, on top right here, it doesn't really show any of that iridescence, honestly. But when you flip that belly over, it's just remarkable. And then here, let me show you another snake with some bloated genes. She's a three gene. This is one of my proven breeders. He's in shed right now. This is a la this is like I said, this is a lavender motley sunfire. That motley really influences this genetic combo. Right here, this is a lavender platinum sunfire tiger because of that dorsal stripe. 66% had citron. Citron really brightens this pattern up. You can't really tell in shed right now, but he glows. And these snakes have remarkable eye patterns. I mean, they're out of this world. I mean, and as you can see, they're extremely different. I mean, extremely different. Just the side markings alone. And as you see, you're in that same river concept right here. And that's your sunfire going up and down, up and down, up and down. And your platinum with your sunfire and your tiger is this repetitive russos going down the side. As you see, the sunfire with the motley experience expresses here and gives some russos and some effects. But these are more widespread because you, you influence that tiger genetic. Sooner or later, we're hopefully going to cross these two together. He's a two and, a year old, two and a half year old male. I've raised both of these snakes, got them as hatchlings. They're two of my favorites. And we'll show a couple more genetics here shortly just get more in depth about the nitty gritty and pretty much what we're breeding and what we're trying to accomplish you know I'm trying to hit some super sunfire super tiger citrons which so everybody knows this would be a recessive with a triple co-dominant with a hundred percent or sixty six percent heterozygous which would be het for citron. And this female is a lavender albino motley sunfire. So it's a recessive gene with a double codominance. So meaning that if I don't breed her to an albino, I don't get albinos. So if, unless it's heterozygous for albino. And the motley and the sunfire have 50% of the time will show up on, in the clutch. So 50% of these babies when I breed her will have motley. 50% of them will have sunfire. 25% of them should be motley 
Sunfires. And everything should either be albino or 100% het albino when I breed her. Next video, we'll be doing some golden child stuff. Make sure you watch.